examples of using melodic hooks are of course amazing. But if you listen to all the greats, they are all playing really melodic solos. One of the problems you might find in your own solos when soloing is that your solos are not connected into the music. My hovercraft. It's full of eels. Uh, matches, matches. When you do not tie the solo together throughout the solo, you get a kind of misunderstood solo, which could also mean you are sinking your solo right from the beginning. And you do not give yourself the opportunity to get into a great foundation of the solo and start building up. And in these kind of build-ups, you also listen and get into the material. And this is where the melodic hooks comes into play. When you use melodic hooks in your playing, your solos just becomes more understandable and much more interesting to listen to. And you get to build a foundation where on you can place your solo. I want to go through the process of how you can use melodic hooks to connect your solo melodically, giving you the melodic tools and how you can use melodic hooks, melody development and rhythm in your melodies. Let's save this boat from sinking and get the melodic hook sorted out. What is a melodic hook? <laughs> The melodic hook is a main melody that in many instances are singable and has a defined rhythm. For example, it's the melodic hook of the well-known hymn When the Saints, the first sentence of the tune, the first four notes. The melodic hook can also be the trademark of the song. In the When the Saints, the melodic hook is repeated three times in the beginning. When you're soloing, the melodic hook is the same thing. Here Stan Getz is playing a clear defined rhythmic pattern up and down these chords. But Stan Getz is not playing the melody of the song. He's playing an improvised sentence, which is the melodic hook. The perfect example of a melodic hook and melodic development is of course in When the Saints. The theme is repeated three times and the third time there's a little melodic development. The line moves subtly down the triad and is changed in different ways. But the rhythm is still the same from the original hook line. And this is exactly what Stan Getz is doing in his solo on Voids, making the perfect melodic hook. We hear this perfect D7 line repeated through all the eight bars of the bridge. In the creative brain of Stan Getz, of course he's changing the melody just a little bit, but also adding a few extra notes. And of course changing the pattern into fitting the chord notes exactly. Now I know what the melodic hook is and how it sounds, let's look into how we can put it onto jazz standards. We will add the When the Saints melodic hook and the Stan Getz approach to the melodic hook into Take the A Train, starting with When the Saints. To get room for all the examples, I'll only work with the first eight bars of Take the A Train, just so you know. When I fit the When the Saints melody over Take the A Train chords. <laughs> repeat the melody. In the first two bars it's okay, but then it becomes a little bit tedious. As we saw with both when the Saints and the Stan Getz solo, we can change the notes, we can change the rhythm, as long as we keep close to the original melodic hook. <laughs> original melodic hook in the first four bars. In the following bars 5 till 8 I move down the arpeggio instead to create an opposite feel of the melodic hook. If you want a well-defined stepping board onto playing these melodic hooks you can get it on the Patreon. I have not only made 8 bar melodic hook lines, I have used full form etudes using the melodic hook throughout the song. The link is in the description. When I make this diverting of the melodic hook I think in a mirror image here and I play the opposite in the following bars. I also want to get away from the jump on the A7. I try to use a melodic guide tone line throughout the form, staying in the center of the melodic hook. I mentioned earlier you need to repeat the melodic hook, so making a melodic hook, one thing is really important. Keep repeating it, else it doesn't become a melody. And I also try to make the melodic hook very singable, so I really stay in the center of the line of the melodic hook. hook I stay around the G on top of the line, getting a clear guide tone line around that G, A and the F sharp. The trick to become really good at making melodic hooks is playing a lot of them and follow them up throughout the song. Let's hear what happens when we add Stan Getz's melodic hook into Take the A Train. and do not listen to the melodic hook on Take the A Train. It really sounds bad. 
But still it's a good start. Let's tweak it and get something more melodical. <laughs> extra notes, I go over the bar line, I even tweak the rhythm a little bit and I move around some notes, adding extra notes here and there. And this makes a good melodic development of a melodic hook. And what I do to have a clear result in this, I stay with the basic tools I have, the basic arpeggios. <laughs> basic scale tones. You also see that I keep the melody singable, I do not make huge jumps or move weirdly around the chord scheme. Stick to the center of the melody and move along with this imaginary guide tone line. Making a small guide tone line with the chords, start with taking a part of the chords and move this through as close to the next bar as you can to get a very singable and melodic line. Here's a new example on how I'm using the guide tone staying around that C sharp and the A in the beginning. This is my melodic hook moving through the form. <laughs> Chasing the melodic hook just a little bit to make it sound interesting. Some very rhythmic and some very melodic. Joe Henderson always surprises. In this example, he's basically just playing a melodic hook going chromatically up through the chords. I'm not playing the Joe Henderson example, but I'm trying to copy his approach. In the first four bars, I'm moving through the common notes of the scales and the chords. And from bar 5 till 8, I'm using substitute changes. When you have substitute chords, just change the melodic hook and make it fit into the melodic setting. And this really gets you an outside sound on these substitute chords. In the lesson manual on Patreon, I have made these melodic hook etudes on the full form of Take the A Train. Get the PDF on Patreon, the link is in the description. If you want to check out more Joe Henderson, I really advise you to check out the rhythmic approach of Joe. This is so strong. How about taking a look at this video featuring Joe Henderson and Chris Potter, two of my favorite saxophone players. Play music, have fun.